hey guys like i said earlier or uh, the dimension we're giving isn't correct which is or uh, we're giving this right which is not correct because we don't know the distance between year to year and i went online to search for a two post in a late machine it always has a boat here to hold down the wager let me show you an example of what i'm saying so this is a professional one i found online but this is in inches so as you can see they gave them the height from here to here but we're not giving in hours and you can see there is a boat here that holds this slide that's this wager yeah or this wage that would hold it down but we don't have it we're not giving so for some of you that might want to you know just go ahead drawing this i'll just tell you to give yourself any dimension you know smaller than this guy i'm probably the same size as the o here right just to andrew then you go as a uh, go ahead and create um like this boat yourself also so doing that i think um if i'll be doing that first thing my laptop okay First thing I want to do is, yeah, I need to work on this plane. No, let me do it from the back. Right, from the back, yes. So you click on this plane, click on this plane, then add a sketch. So um, with the sketch, I'm just gonna assume, okay, let me first of all pick my line to and construction line. I'm just gonna draw a straight line, yeah, right click. Remember, I don't have a dimension. The book I found that shows dimension of two wages is in inches and even with the inches converted to millimeter, it's not rhyming with hard dimension. So this is just a tutorial video for those of you that will be able to find the real dimension. So I'm gonna give, this guy length yeah the first was 20 so i'm gonna give this 40 just gonna go ahead and give it 40 millimeter for mine and yeah then i would be drawing a circle i'll be drawing a circle here and here remember i said i want my circle to just be the same size as the inner depth of the hole on that slide so it's also I'm always forgetting to okay I got me um turn off my construction line I'm always forgetting to do that click on circle then draw a circle of diameter eight enter please let's remember I drew it so I don't forget to do that so diameter eight enter also i click okay then i pick my dimension okay let's try another line again construction line where's the center where's the center yeah green so i just want to draw a line from the center yeah right click okay when i come to my dimension to i'm gonna use the same distance as the o at the top the hole we drew at the top here if you remember you know we have two holes there and their distance was 40 so i'm going to do the same thing this time should be 40 oh this time should be 40 enter and then i'm going to do this again yeah click on this guy then touch my center center and my middle line yeah, so it pushes them to the right part so i click on finish sketch Sorry, it's taking time. I'm processing a lot of stuff on the laptop. Yeah, finish sketch. Oh, how did I get analysis? Then, tell me this click on evolve extrude and sorry let me rotate the back extrude can i find the circle i can't find the circle from here let me rotate the back yeah 
touch on this guy make it inward and I'm coming and to see and it has to be true all okay yeah the same thing goes for this guy inward and true then I finish sketch I'll finish extrusion and I come to my thread I touch this guy and this guy. Okay, plus this guy. Yeah. So this is this about this. So let's go to what brought us here originally. So we'll create a new sketch for drawing our wager and i want to draw what plane do you want to draw i want to draw starting from my xy plane so i pick my line to i want to draw um okay let me do it backwards something with height 40 height 40 enter then it's tall very tall and this last street yes and uh, distance 88 enter distance 88 enter then I will just stretch my line downwards leave it that way I click ok pick my line to again and um, closer to my sketch come to the screen point and just draw any line along long long stop right click okay okay and in continuation i was told from year to year is angle 20 degrees enter so i think i'm good to go i click okay then trim to Trim this guy, trim this guy. I click OK and finish. Okay, so after the 20 degrees, all I want to do. Okay, so after the 20 degrees, all I want to do is take the dimension from this junction to this junction, which is 7, 9. Seven nine seven one, seven point nine seven one. So I finish my sketch. Extrude. And I touch on this guy. I want him to go backwards. Distance eighteen. Enter. So I click on this place. Create a sketch. So I'll be drawing an N. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Control Z. Control Z. So I pick on my line two. I'll be drawing an N from the down to the top. To the right and down. So I'm picking my line two from the floor. I take it up, go right towards, then bring it back down. Right click, okay. So I take my line two again construction line look for the central green dots stretch it downwards right click ok and take this dimension to again this guy this guy 
we have five enter then from here the top to this guy remember what we measured on the other side so seven point nine seven one enter and pick on this guy one two and the center line okay then finish sketch and extrude then it's going through all through all then we cut so yeah this is this about this guy